Welcome to the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Let's explore how Tudor is carving its own path and making a name for itself in the watch industry. Despite being in Rolex's shadow for years, Tudor has been on a roll, consistently delivering new and exciting innovations. In this video, we'll dive into the exciting world of Tudor and examine its role as a pioneer in the watch industry. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos, and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Although Rolex may reign supreme in terms of quality, Tudor distinguishes itself by daring to push the limits of horology and explore uncharted territories. The brand's audacious motto Born to Dare is exemplified in its recent innovations and trailblazing designs, always keeping watch aficionados on the edge of their seats with exciting new releases. In short, Tudor is a brand that refuses to play it safe and always surprises with fresh, bold ideas. Let's get into some specific examples. At Watches and Wonders, Rolex debuted exhibition case backs, which is a first for the brand. However, Tudor has had this feature for years with their own models. The Yacht Master 42 in titanium is also a new addition to the Rolex line, but Tudor had already introduced a similar design with their Pelagos line of dive watches. Regarding the Pelagos, Tudor unveiled the LHD Pelagos model prior to the Sprite GMD, and it was better received by the public. Tudor has a patented extension system in their watch class, which Rolex may eventually adopt. This pattern demonstrates how Tudor leads the way in innovation, with Rolex following suit to improve upon those innovations. The brand's dominance or prestige is not the main focus here instead, we're interested in which brand is more captivating. Rolex is known for making minor upgrades to their steel sports watches, including the Submariner, GMT, Explorer, and Daytona, which can leave watch enthusiasts feeling uninspired year after year. While the philosophical significance of Rolex's minor upgrades to their steel sports watches can be acknowledged, it can leave watch enthusiasts feeling underwhelmed and questioning the excitement of the brand's release cycle. Yet, Tudor's growing production of in-house movements is effectively closing the quality gap between the two brands. As a result, some argue that Tudor has already surpassed Rolex in offering better value for money. The Rolex Perpetual 1908 made a delightful surprise appearance at Watches and Wonders, leaving admirers in awe. Rolex is also stepping out of its comfort zone with daring dial designs. The unconventional palm dial date just may have seemed odd initially but it has since amassed a loyal fan base. Their bold and colorful dials, particularly the stunning yellow dial, have been immensely popular. However, Rolex's recent experimental designs have left some puzzled instead of feeling eager to splurge. In terms of product rollout, Tudor seems to have the edge here. At Watches and Wonders, they made their watches available for purchase on the same day they were unveiled in Geneva, which is quite thrilling for watch enthusiasts. On the contrary, Rolex typically has a lag time between the launch of their products and their actual availability for purchase. Let's not forget the elephant in the room. Rolex enthusiasts often have to endure long wait lists that could stretch on for months, if not years, before finally receiving the coveted timepiece. It's no wonder that when the brand revealed the plat in a anniversary Daytona, a significant milestone, fans on social media responded with a collective what's the point. After all, the chances of actually laying hands on one of these beauties seem slim to none. While Rolex is slowly evolving into a luxury brand, Tudor remains loyal to its origins as a maker of rugged and accessible tool watches. Of course, the Rolex bath may be alluring to those with a taste for extravagance, lavish materials, and shiny gems. However, for the everyday watch aficionado who values quality and practicality over showiness and exclusivity, the shift towards luxury can be disheartening. Who wants to deal with the hassle and complications that come with such a transition? To sum up, Tudor is the brand that takes risks and introduces innovative ideas, making Rolex's later adoption of these ideas less exciting. A new Rolex model may be impressive, but it loses its appeal if it's only available for display or exclusive purchase. Tudor, on the other hand, is making waves with their high-quality watches that are accessible and available for purchase. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the discussion below. This is the luxury world, and we will see you next time.